What's up, everybody? So we're talking about categorizing somebody else's experience. I was on the internet and somebody linked this thing. was like, the six things you're going to encounter doing this new thing that you do. That's, yeah, I get that most people may have gone through somewhat similar circumstances, but you're still generalizing the experiences of somebody that you have no fucking idea. And then you're like, this is what you're going to have happen in your life. I could make a video, it's like, the six things that happen when you sever major arteries, and then make a video about that, and I'd generalize people's experience, be like, blood sprays everywhere and it fucking hurts. Maybe it doesn't hurt for some people. That's a shitty example. But what I'm getting at is these people are like, you're gonna do this when you go there, but you sometimes you don't. Did you miss out? No, these people are just generalizing bullshit to fill up fucking stories the same way I generalize bullshit to fill up these fucking YouTube videos. They're just, well, I gotta write a fucking story today. Better write something about my subjective experience in college and apply that to everybody else because what the fuck I think is obviously totally accurate. Yeah, man. Don't generalize people's experiences based off what you think they might have gone through. Ask them, because there's people... You motherfuckers will blow your mind, dude. You ask somebody what they've been through. One of my one of my friends who you wouldn't... Yeah, he he would think that he's a fairly, fairly buttoned-down guy from the way he looks next these days. But he used to live in this house where they had a giant cocaine mirror and they'd, he'd like his friends would like slap each other in the face and they go run out in fucking six feet of snow in the Idaho woods in the winter and nothing but fucking skivvies. You can't generalize what people are gonna do or what they've been through based off of what you th see before you because that guy, he can dress up to be a very professional looking individual. Dude, that doesn't sound very professional black like one time. We were at this giant six foot glass mirror table. My friend did a bump of blow, took all of his pants off, and he's like, Punch me in the face! And he got punched in the face, and we didn't see him for two days. He was out in the wilderness snorting blow in his underwear for two days. Fuck. You wouldn't even think that this guy had experienced something like that because he's a fair, like I said, buttoned down individual that looks like he could fucking work at a bank. Anyways, everybody. Have a good one.